here we go. You heard it here on the street within, my Red Devils. Fabrizio Romano has given the year we go for Eric Ten Hag. He is said to be the Manchester United manager. It is now confirmed. We definitely trust Fabrizio's word, his reports. I am excited. I know he lost in the Dutch Cup final to PSV, but that doesn't bother me. We are getting the manager that we wanted. The fans wanted Ten Hag and the board, the Glazers, they have gone against what the media has been pushing, what ex-players and coaches have been pushing and saying, get Pochettino. We have got Ten Hag. We heard the verbal agreement just a few days ago and now today, on Easter Monday, Ten Hag, here we go. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I am over the moon. News that literally brightens up the mood at Old Trafford. We are going to Anfield, but the positive spirit, the positive energy that this gives Manchester United, that it should be giving the players, definitely this information that Fabrizio has come out with, giving us the year we go for Eric Ten Hag, definitely should kick these players into gear. They should take this now and go and perform against Liverpool. Show Ten Hag what your qualities are. Show the manager that is coming that you can play in his team when he starts in the preseason and for the new season. Now is the audition time for them. Previously, there was rumours was spread everywhere, the verbal agreements. But all these players at the club know Fabrizio. They know that his word is law. So with them seeing this news, definitely those that feel that their place at the club is threatened, they definitely now will look to perform, to show Ten Hag that they want to be part of his project, to be part of the new Manchester United that will be created with Ten Hag, with Mitchell van der Gaag. This is news that will put pressure on these players at the club. It will force them to perform. They can't hide now. Now everyone knows that he will be our manager. So if you don't pull up your socks, if you don't perform, definitely Ten Hag will come in and get rid of you. He's proven it previously and he will definitely do it again. I am over the moon. I've been saying since the very beginning, since the very moment Ten Hag was brought out as a candidate for Manchester United as a manager. Sorry, he was the manager that I wanted. He was the manager that I said will be the man to rebuild Manchester United. He is that breath of fresh air that we needed in this club that has been driven and supported by people that don't actually know football. Now they've made a competent football decision in bringing in Ten Hag. Now they just need to allow him to do what he needs to do. Allow him to do everything that he wants to with the squad. Because everything that he does want to do for the squad and for the club is to level it up. Get it to the level of the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, etc. He wants us competing at the top level where we're supposed to be because we are Manchester United. And yes, as I said, he lost in the Dutch Cup final. A lot of our Manchester United fans online have been slating him, have been saying that he's an average coach because he lost in the final. 
it's probably the first game that they watched of Ten Hag. And that is the reason why they have all these negative, false opinions. Definitely Ten Hag will come in and change what is needed to be changed at the club. I want to read you now the report from Fabrizio as he brought it out to us. And it says that Eric Ten Hag is set to be appointed as new Manchester United manager. Deal is at its final stages. The agreement between Ten Hag and Man United's board has now been reached on every detail, including transfer strategies and more. The final point to be discussed before the official announcement is the terms and the details of the payment for the 2 million euro release clause still included into his contract with Ajax. No official statement will be made today or tomorrow. It will take some time to be respectful with Ajax, fans and with Ten Hag. This all depends on the clause itself. Dutch manager, as I said in the previous video, Ten Hag will be getting his assistant Mitchell van der Gaag. It is said that Dutch manager Mitchell van der Gaag is the candidate to join Ten Hag as assistant coach at Manchester United. The contracts are now being prepared and then will be checked again before signing the agreement in full. It is expected that his contract will run until June 2026 or June 2025 with an option to extend for another season. There you have it. The here we go for Ten Hag to be Manchester United manager. Now that that is being sorted, now that the paperwork is being sorted, they can now look towards getting in the players that they need to get in early enough. As I've said in previous videos, if you haven't watched it, definitely go and have a look at it. Drop a like on the video if you haven't done so as well. I said, if we can sort out our transfer business early, the players we need to get in, get them in, and the players that we can get rid of, get rid of them early enough, that will give Ten Hag more time to focus fully on the tactics of the team, the style of play, implementing things that need to be implemented at the club and with the team to have us grow to that level that we need to be at to be competing with the top clubs. It is imperative now that the decisions that are made is decisions that have been discussed with Ten Hag and decisions that he has the final say on. He is the manager. Allow him to manage. Allow him to work with the players to the way he wants to work with the players. Don't tell him who to play or why he should play these players. Let him choose who must play and when they should play and if they should play. Let him do the job freely without hindrance from anyone above him. That is the only way we will succeed. Because as I've said in previous videos, Ten Hag is not coming to make friends. He is coming to compete. He is coming to take on this challenge to take Manchester United back to the top where they belong. Where we belong. I am excited beyond words. I just want the season to end so that we can start seeing Ten Hag do the magic and start working at Manchester United. Can't wait till he holds up that shirt with his name on the back in his official announcement, his official, you know, presentation. Can't wait to hear him speak as a Manchester United manager for the first time. Can't wait to see the type of players that he wants to bring to the club. Can't wait to see him work on the training grounds, to see him actually on the touchline at Old Trafford, that very first game next season. It's going to be massive. He's got the support from the Manchester United faithful. We want Ten Hag to succeed. We believe that he will succeed. It's going to take some time. We're going to have a lot of blip results. But those will be results that will give Ten Hag 
the learning curve that he needs to be better for the following season. Because we need to understand, we won't be winning the league next season. That is not the priority. Heck, the priority might be Champions League next season. We don't know if we're going to qualify for the top four this season. So that might be the goal for next season and maybe get a trophy along the way. We potentially can do that. The FA Cup and the Carabao Cup is there as options to win trophies. But we definitely want to go and be competing against the top clubs. Winning the so-called bottom clubs. No disrespect to them. We need to be winning those games. I've said it in the, in the post-match press conference. We need to be winning teams like Norwich City. But Ten Hag being appointed as Manchester United manager is that one step in the right direction. It is the start of the foundation that is going to be built for continuous and consistent success at Manchester United. I'm not saying we're going to have the glory days like we had with Sir Alex, but at least now we have a coach that has shown that he can crack it at the top level of football. If given what he needs to be successful, he has shown that he can bring success. He shown at Ajax Amsterdam where he lost crucial players in a key squad that he had, the squad that went to the Champions League semi-finals, where he had the likes of De Ligt, Frank de Jong, Donny van der Beek, Hakim Ziyech, etc. They all left for various big clubs and he had to rebuild the squad. But while rebuilding the squad, he still won trophies and he still competed at the highest level. So, if he can do that with a depleted squad after losing so many of his key players, then what can he do when given the tools and the money to build the squad that he wants? I'm sure that we will be a much better team under Ten Hag. I'm sure that we will believe in his style of play. We will believe in the mentality that he wants to bring to the club. As I've said, we need a brand new Manchester United and he is the beginning of that new Manchester United. We have the past, our history is set in stone, but we need to now move to the future. We need to now evolve with the times in terms of the modern style of coaching. And Ten Hag was and is that new manager that every top club wanted. But we got Ten Hag. We have him now. And now we need to ensure that he is given the power to go and be successful and make Manchester United great as they were and as we should be. Fabrizio Romano has given us the year we go. Eric Ten Hag will be set as the Manchester United manager. No announcement today or tomorrow, but there will be an announcement made in the coming days. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for those who have watched all the videos up until the end and definitely have watched this one until the end. You guys are amazing. 1,000 subscribers is our goal. Definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you know exactly when the Stratford End uploads videos. Links to our various socials in the descriptions below. And of course, till we speak again soon on match day, that is it, me, Sachin Johnson from the Stratford End with the exciting news that Eric Ten Hag is now confirmed that he will be the Manchester United manager. Manchester United, the team we all love and support. Goodbye, Red Devils. Have a wonderful evening further.